Hi guys and welcome to Doug Shoe Bushcraft. Today's topic is bedroll camping secrets. And the link is in the description. In a previous video, I brought you along with me on a camping trip. And all I had was a bedroll that I was carrying with a shoulder strap. And also I had a belt kit. And with just that, I was able to camp. And this wasn't mere survival. I had everything I needed with a very low weight setup. So I hiked into the woods and all I had was that bedroll and a belt kit. And the way I roll it up, inside is all the gear that I need. And then the belt bedroll is secured with bungees and a couple lengths of paracord. Then I clip the shoulder strap to the paracord. And I've never spent any money for these. You can get these any place. You get a camera bag or some sort of shoulder bag or soft briefcase. It doesn't have to be anything real elaborate. And if you can't scare up one of these, um, you can use a rope or basically anything to tie to your length of paracord or whatever you have the bedroll tied with. Um, and if it's a rope, if you're just wearing a t-shirt, it could start to cut or irritate. But in the camping trip in the previous video, I was wearing a canvas work jacket that's also insulated, so it's insulation padding. So I had this shoulder strap, uh, which is unpadded. But even if I'd had a rope or even like a length of paracord across there, um, wouldn't have been uncomfortable, wouldn't have hurt me. So it's good to uh, carry one of these in the pocket of your jacket, even if you're not bringing the bedroll with you, because I can roll up my jacket and tie it with some cords. You know, roll up the jacket like a bedroll, and if I have anything I want to carry, let's say I don't have a pack or I lose the pack, or there's something, some sort of resource or food I get along the trail, I can wrap that up in my jacket and tie it off and put this on and it's the same principle as you saw in the video. So this is the tarp I use, the label from the packaging. It's a Harbor Freight 7 foot by 9 foot camo tarp, medium duty. Put the link in the description where you can get it. And it's 1 pound, 13 ounces. So kind of heavy. I've upgraded to carrying like lightweight ponchos a lot of times these days. But back in the old days, I was poor. I used, I want to say this identical tarp, if not it was very similar, Harbor Freight, the woodland camo pattern. And I had motorcycles and roll up a bedroll and go around New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont, Quebec, sleep out in the woods. A lot of times my poor man's camping was I'd just uh, ride until it was getting around dusk and then, you know, around entrance and exit ramps, a lot of times there's a little stand of trees, a lot of times evergreens in the middle of like the clover loop that they have. I'd look for something like that if possible because typically state property, right? And. Uh, just pull in there, I'd cover my tail light on my motorcycle or something, set up the tarp just real quick, and uh, there you go. So these have always worked for me. Now it's a good low cost option in my opinion. And then the blanket you saw, it's old as the hills. <laughs> also a Harbor Freight moving blanket, wool blanket, like a wool blend. I think 80% wool if I remember right. Uh, I went to the website because I want to put a link in the description and uh, seems like they've been discontinued so uh, that's kind of sad. Who knows, maybe they'll come back. So the bedroll that you saw was 8 pounds 5 ounces. In other words the tarp, the wool blanket, 
uh, the gear that was inside, a little bit of food, the cord, the bungees, the shoulder strap all together, eight pounds, five ounces. And then the belt kit had the belt, uh, the survival knife, a pouch for the canteen and canteen cup, and also the weight of the water, uh, four pounds, three ounces. So all together, 12 and a half pounds for that camping setup. I realized I didn't bring a ton of food, um, but still I'm all set up for what I had. Um, notice there's no pack because <laughs> I'm turning the bedroll into a pack. I mean, uh, that's an advantage. That's something to think about. So the belt is uh, a reproduction of a U.S. military pistol belt. And then canteen pouch. That might be the real thing. I'm not sure. And this, I'll put the link in the description. This is the Rothko reproduction of the World War II U.S. military canteen and the matching cup. And I like the World War II style or that era style with this kind of handle rather than the butterflies because when I set it on the fire that's almost like an extra leg makes it more stable and in the video of the camping trip you can see how I just set that in the campfire let it boil So the bungees help hold the bedroll together when I'm carrying it over my shoulder. But then it makes it a lot easier to set up the tarp and also to reconfigure it. And easier is better. Why do things the hard way? And also, if you're thinking about stealth, then speed is security. Being able to find a spot, quickly set it up. That's an advantage. And then you hear something, things are getting a little sideways, got to move quick, unhook some bungees, and you can take the shelter with you very fast. Just roll it up, put some bungees around it. I mean, if it was a really urgent sort of emergency, really had to get out of there quick, maybe leave behind some gear if I had to. At least I got my tarp, at least I got my bedroll. You know, it, it's uh, a lot faster for me than trying to pack up a dome tent and you're pulling, trying to pull out the fiberglass poles and getting a stuff sack and, you know, uh, with this I just throw everything in the tarp and uh, roll it up real quick, bungee it, I'm gone. A lot better. So now I'll show you the uh, ease of reconfiguring. Right now it's all open, like good weather during the day. I want some sun, I want some view, just like it's a porch now. But then the weather gets worse or I'm going in for the night and I can close it up. That's pretty tight with some sort of torrential rain or blizzard or something. I could close it up even more. And then that, let's say I want a fire, so I want to be able to set up. And also, I don't want the roof low where it's going to be catching a lot of sparks potentially. So then I can raise it again. I'm back to my nice sunny porch. Now I'll try to simulate 
taking it down real quick and bundling it up. I mean, maybe you could do it faster. I'm an old guy. Maybe you're a young whippersnapper. <laughs> Here we go. That's my time without leaving anything behind. Feel like I failed. <laughs> and I don't know how many minutes that was, but I'm sure it's less than if I was trying to pack up a tent. That's my point there. Okay, so I took my time, not rushing. Put this together a lot neater for you guys. Very light, very easy camping setup. So I feel there's only one piece of gear I'd like to go in with more depth. And that's another mod video for this Harbor Freight Survival Knife. And also a long-term use report. A lot of people have been asking for that. I've been very surprised how it's holding up. <laughs> So I hope to see you again soon. Got videos coming every Thursday, 8 p.m. And occasionally other times, but Thursday. Hope to see you then. Gracious words are a honeycomb. Sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Proverbs 16. 24.